would take a second to get this thing up and running. It's like a computer. It is a computer. Yeah, it is a computer. Okay, we are recording now. We're at 9829 McBroom Street in Sunland, California, performing a video sewer inspection through the mainline cleanout adjacent to the gas meter, just left to the front entrance of the house. Now we're going to start pulling back and show the condition of the pipe. That's, that's your tie-in. Okay. You can see I'm going to go back in a little bit. And not too much of a drop-off. It's not that deep considering. Okay. Pull back slow. A little separation, right? No, pretty good separation. Got about a two inch separation. These are all just clay pipes? Yeah. This is your six inch lateral. Got about a two inch separation in that joint and offset. So what it is, Scott, it's, it's not only pulled apart this way, yeah. it's shifted this way a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And that's an important joint right there. That can be lined still. You could, you could end up going to the four to six inch transition on the property and then shooting a liner in here. We'll see what the rest of it looks like. Another joint here, yeah. just offset. Got some root intrusion in there. Yeah. A little bit of separation, not terrible though. And I see a whole lot worse. They're about five foot sections. That joint looks pretty good right there. Okay. So that's what a flush joint's supposed right. to look like. Right. Get you. Let's see if I can jump on this side. go slow so we can see. We got a lot of root build up right here coming in from that joint. Yeah. Which I mean I say a lot, but it's not terrible. Okay. You know, that can be that could be treated if you didn't want to put the liner in. Okay. The only problem I foresee in the future is at that city sewer saddle connection. If we have some more tremors, we have some more gooder movement, yeah, yeah, that yeah, thing could yeah. sever. Yeah, it could be and if it, if it does, with a liner inside there, the liner is an epoxy, it's a cloth, right. cloth that's blown in yeah. and, and cures, yeah. and it'll keep it stabilized. Yeah, I had to do that at my other house. Okay. So you know. And that appears to be the four to six inch transition. You can see where Larger and drops down. So we okay. want to mark this area real quick, or I can I can pull back and show you, and then go through it and mark everything if you want. Well, whatever you want to do, sign with me. I'm in no hurry right now. Okay, let me let me mark this area real quick. Okay. Because this is a a critical area if whatever you want to do.
voice back on. We're recording again. Okay, this does appear to be the four to six inch transition. It looks like it's getting larger right there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it definitely is. Normally it's in the property, about eight to ten feet yeah. in further. Okay, so we'll go from here. We got right at about 97 feet, 98 feet. And we have all clay except for maybe 15 feet, 20 feet of. This is the one joint I, I had a hard time getting past here because it's offset pretty bad. I see. And this is where it kind of dropped a little bit. Yeah. And the guy might have been hitting. I hit the face. If, if you keep ramming it, it'll break the camera. You just keep hitting the face. Yeah. What you have to do is just run water, get enough water in there, and then you kind of float it over it. Gotcha. So that's a separated joint right there. Now it's coming up. That's where he could as well. This joint, I had a hard time as well. You can see. Yeah. But it, I, I can bounce over that. Yeah. But I'm hitting it. He was probably just jamming up against that other one. So those joints are pretty well separated. Then you come up again. And this is the test Y, test T area. This actually might be the four to six inch transition. I don't know why that looked smaller. It's really hard to tell. It's got, and you got something in there. Yeah. I don't know. That looks like... I can't tell if that's root. doesn't look like a root mass. Huh. It looks almost like concrete or possibly a shift. That's what it is. I think it's broken. See it yeah. at the top? Yeah, it looks like it's part of it up there. Yeah, it looks like it's part of that pipe. Yeah. That actually has twisted. Yeah. Right there. Yep, that's what that is. Yeah, you can see it. A little bit at the bottom, but more at the top. Yep, right. So that's that's the area. You'd have to go at least right to there or right past there with pulling the trench list and then go ahead and, and line the rest of it. I mean, as bad as it looked, I can't tell for sure. We'll be able to think back. But see, here's another joint. Yeah. And this one I had a real hard time getting yeah. over to. Just yeah, a big separation yeah, at that sure, one. Sure enough. And that's the ABS transition. What that is, is the way they tied that thing together, they just didn't tie it together real well. Yeah. And that's why that's offset so bad right there. I'm not 83 feet. I didn't think that I was that far in the plastic. You want to mark this here? Yeah, it's a good idea. I thought I was only out about 25 feet or so. I couldn't tell. I was jamming this thing. I had a lot of roots.
We've only got a couple joints in this ABS that are really bad. So maybe leave it. You know, I mean, leave the ABS and repair whatever couple joints that are, and then take it from that point out. Yeah. Well, I know there's a hole in the line right here. The water pooled right here. Yeah. And as soon as Mo unplugged it, the water just went down. Yeah, went back down. Right. That. I said that separation is pretty bad. That yeah, offset. Yeah. That'll catch a lot of paper more than anything. Right. It'll push through generally because you got enough you got enough length on the pipe at 80 feet and get enough water behind it. It'll build up and then you know you get laundry going or a shower. And it'll probably push it through. Well, or garbage disposal. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. I don't know if that's enough to push it through. Usually a good shower or laundry get a large volume. This doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look here. too bad there, does it? No. It's coming back more. A little bit of build up in there, but that's not a big deal in ABS. Nah, this doesn't look too bad. That joint's not they didn't put it together right. Yeah. To see how far it is. Yeah, it should be from the lip. Yeah. It should be butted. Yeah, right. That's about quarter to a half inch into the joint. That's probably their problems with the roots getting in is they didn't seat the pipe all the way in. We've got issues here. That yeah, the pipe's cracked. Crack. Yeah. See it? Yeah, I do see that. Yeah, the pipe's cracked all the way along there to about here. Let's see. Okay, we're at about 45. Let's see where that other joint is. 45. So we go another five feet. We could cut that joint out if you want to repair yeah, that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you want to mark this area too? Let's mark that area yeah. too. Get that mark. And then we'll pull back and see where we have other issues. That may be a big part of it too. Yeah. Is a crack, but I can't figure out how. You don't have a lot of huge trees right in here. Yeah. No. You know this is. It might be real, real lightweight plastic. It might not be Schedule 40 ABS as well. Okay, we're on.
So we're going to have some turns in here where that is now. Right. We're probably going to have a 45 coming up right here. Yeah, it's hot. I don't see, don't see a lot of plastic cracking. It's pretty weird. Okay, we've marked this area out where there is a joint. We're going to pull back here, and you can see where it's cracked. That split starts about yeah, right, right there. there. I bet that's where Mo yeah. was getting stuck right there, and he was going down into the ground right there. It's probably on the right-hand side, and the blade was catching and just digging in. It's even cracked on the left. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's cracked all in here. The roots getting in. It's cracked all along the bottom right there too. Back here as well. See that ridge right at the bottom? Yeah. Split and rolling over. And it's cracked all the way up along that left side too. It looks like Scott see it? Yep. There's small root intrusion getting in there and it's cracked all the way still. I can tell you what, it's cracked right here. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the whole thing's cracked. This broke, this is cracked and broken, Scott, right here, all the way around. Not, not along the side, but see it? Yeah. You got the joint all the way around. Yeah. You know, okay, it comes around back to right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. If it is, it's not as bad as the other. No, garden. it's minor. Maybe cracked. Looks like it is there bit. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and here yeah, it's cracked. Cracks. Yeah. So it's still cracked. It's just getting worse. Certain areas. Essentially, the whole pipe is cracked. Yeah. And here's. Here's roots coming in. Here's roots coming in through the side of this thing, through the top. That's cracked there, all the way along the bottom. Yeah. This little piece doesn't look too bad here. But then we have roots growing in from the top. Yeah. So it's cracked along the top. We're almost all the way back. I'll make another little turn right here. Yeah, just a little tiny bit of a turn right here. Yeah. Before it was dug up. Yeah. This whole line's pretty much trashed. Yeah. It's shot. Yeah, your best bet just just pull a yeah. Pull a brand new line all the way to that four to six, and then line cost of going into the street and replacing. Yeah. And it's the only the only drawback, and I tell you straight up front, we don't know how these liners are going to hold up yeah. with a good size earthquake. Yes. Because we haven't had a good size earthquake since, we since started this new... stuff's been on the yeah, market. Right. But I can show you. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I have. Well, they, they put it in my old house, so I have seen it. It's really cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I can show you. I've got some on the truck, the thickness. But, I mean, you pay about maybe 2800 to three grand to line the, yeah. the six inch. Yeah. 
where you're going to pay eight grand, nine grand to dig it up yeah. and replace it. Right. So it's, it's, it's worth it, I yeah, think, to I try think and so line too. it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think just, so too. I, hate, I don't want to talk people into this stuff and find out we have a big earthquake in five years. <laughs> that's the only thing that voids the warranty. Yeah. Really, a, is, is a major earthquake. We yeah. can't. Yeah, we can't cover it during a major earthquake. Like I said, nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody's willing to do it because nobody knows how it's going to hold. Yeah, up. that makes sense. Okay, and that concludes our video sewer inspection.